Dun dun dun! Hey, losers, it's... Uh... Catachoresis, a way too scary game. I don't ever- I don't ever read Kotaku, but when I do, it's for stuff like this. Well, let's play this way too scary game. Do I click on the up arrow? Do I press the up arrow? I will press the up arrow. Yeah, the up arrow on the keyboard works. Please wear headphones while you play this game. I am doing so! Well, that's kind of small. Maybe I could zoom that in? Ah, screw it. I will live. So, I am wearing headphones. You can go now, game. Interact speak progress dialogue is up. Turn lights on and off is down and move with left and right. It is a side scrolly game. There we go. This game features a basic saving and loading feature. Save your game, press the S key. Load from the save, press the L key. Only one save slot. Um wish to start a new game, don't hit either of the buttons. So we press S all the time. Okay. We can do that. Yes, alright. We are a man in a white shirt next to a van. And we can make our arms stick out. We are boxy. We cannot walk off the edge of the world. Um, if the spacebar does nothing, we might as well press S to save the game. And it gives us that electronic beep. Hello, Mr. Mans with a... Uh, I can't believe they called us out on this one, Jeff. Every night this week, this end of town has seen a lot of action lately. Sure thing, Mr. Glasses Afro Man. Sure, Terrence. Okay, so Terrence is now er, is now super Afro Glasses Man. But that's just how it is. If every house on a block has clogged pipes and the plumber goes to every house, we're like that. So we're ghost plumbers? Yeah, we're ghost plumbers. So what does that sheet say? On Tuesday I was down the block and they had a nasty case of Rosalkas. Flashed in and out of existence in the attic, I thought they'd never get them. The report didn't have anything that specific. Probably a tier 1 event, judging by the anonymous reports. Screaming and vanishing, told guys like kind of stuff. You know, and, uh, well, wall tentacles. Wall tentacles? Why does it always have to be wall tentacles? At least I'm not hung over this time. The last tier 1 I had came on the tail end of a bender and every beer smelled like calamari for a month. That's unfortunate. You have the chart memorized, right? Aquarian calendar and the psychic readout puts us in the lower left of the pentagram, so luctum should be the watchword. What would I ever do without you, Terrence? Regret reading my reports, checking up on watchwords. My hero. I don't have everything. Kevin's reading levels right now, so why don't you just see what he has for you? I'll hit you on the earpiece if anything else comes down the wire. Got it. Thanks. Alright. I hope I wasn't supposed to be taking notes. Because I totally didn't. Oh well. Hey, blocky dude. Lorem Ipsum Dolorosit Amet and Consecutor Ipsum Iliot blah 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 blah. But hey Jeff, glad to see you made it on time tonight. They gave me the van until morning. You have anything for me? Or are we just going to be stuck here all night like every other time they send you to fill in for someone more qualified? If you just do the work and learn to read a couple of dead languages, you never have to see me again. You know that Linda on Squad 3 doesn't even go with the research team anymore? Linda is five years younger than I am and 5,000 more times more qualified for this job. I come in, I read the reports, I go on the jobs, I get paid. So shut it and tell me what you have. You want me to shut it? Kevin. Alright, alright. I'm, I'm waiting on some research to chump back at base to give me something more specific, but right now I can tell you that I'm dis detecting something disciplined out there. Disciplined? The wild stuff always puts the levels off the charts. Ghasts, ghost animals, zombies, bestiary stuff. They don't know how to turn it off. They just scream or fly around and we can usually pin down their location based on that. But this isn't like that here. Just a solid humming kind of thing. Real tier one stuff, but not just power. Whatever's in there has lot has control, and that's scary. Vampire, maybe. Probably not a werewolf. Probably not a construct, either, based on what you're saying. Terrence said that he thought they were wall tentacles. Based off the charts, they're almost certainly tentacles, both fleshly and ephemeral. You've got your work cut out for you, Jeff. We're not getting home early tonight. We've got a perimeter set, though, and that should keep everything contained to this block. The aerial map looks pretty simple. Some warehouses, a fences, a store. Your basic rust belt com composition. Alright, I guess I'll get to it. Good luck. So, we walk past Blocky Dude. We are... Probably working for some secret government organization who pretends to be plumbers. Alright, screen change. We are walking here. What's that? Oh. We have static. 
and that was done by us. All right. So walk, de walk, de walk, walk, de walk, de walk, walk, de walk, de walk, 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 walk. Something flash at me. Yeah, that was some text, but it was really small, so I missed it. Okay, let's get closer to the screen so it can jump out at me and I can scream like a little girl or something. That will amuse the roomie. Jeff, this is Terrence. Are you picking me up? Um, no, Terrence needs another, uh, another voice. Uh, Jeff, this is Terrence. You picking me up? Yeah. Just... Guess not. Hey, and something appeared behind me as the scene changed. Oh well, whatevs. What's this on the doorknob? Ectoplasm! That's not a good sign. Terrence, you can't do that. You can't just yell in my ear like that. Sorry, Jeff. I'm pretty bored here in the van. Kevin says he's getting some weird pulses from that warehouse, and that ectoplasm isn't a good sign. He's reading some old book right now. He says it looks promising. So what am I supposed to be doing here? Am I taking care of things as usual? Has this become a capture duty? Kevin says to search the warehouse and bring back anything you find. Surveillance and necro... Necro-bombardment reads no, but pulsing means something. Search for artifacts. You know the drill. Alright, pick up everything. Terrence! Why is it so dark in here? Wait, it looks like there's full power to the building. Something must be siphoning off all the electricity. Luckily, the watchword is looked them. That's the only option we have? Magic always makes me feel funny. You can't just push more power to the grid. Not unless we want to make two-thirds of the city go dark. Just press the down arrow key to emanate some light from your body. It worked for Sherlock Holmes. You know that's a myth. Alright, I guess I will press the down arrow key after we finish this conversation. That part's in brackets. I'm also pushing an ability to you via Psylink. Anything emanating psychic energy or ghost particles will turn gray when you're near it. Just look for the gray objects and press the up key when you're near them. Got it. All this new technology makes me anxious. Alright, so... Ah, oh, light glowing from my body. Circle of light. Alright. Oh, okay, so that's not like a page, it's just like a little box thing. Alright. Dump a dump a dump. Dump a dump a dump. Ah, that's gray. This crate is bleeding clouds of darkness that burn the minds of beings arcane and ancient. I wonder what's inside of it. There's a small bone here. It is covered in tiny script that shifts underneath my fingers when I touch it. I'll put it in my pocket and have Kevin look at it when I'm done searching this warehouse. Alright. I love how blasé I am about this. Eh, it's just a box of horror and evil. Well, time to scoot back in just in case this needs to do any shock things on me despite being so damnably small. Oh, hello door. I will use- oh, I turned off the light. I turned the light back on. I will use you, door. Ah, toolkit! There's a ring here. It looks expensive and there's a small initial etched into the band. I can feel the weight of 10,000 failed relationships emanating from it. I'll put this in my pocket to show Kevin. Oh, hello, computer. I will use you. This screen is on... the, the screen on the shipping computer is scrolling through the same text over and over and over. It's a really big font, too. You trub... Footstab... To not want... Bad stuff... Hurty. Hurty, bad stuff, want. Okay. Should read it backwards. That doesn't seem so bad. Jeff, can you hear me over the moans of the nether? What, is that a thing? Linda's always writing about that stuff in her logbooks, but I've never... I'm just kidding. You find anything yet? A couple of things. Nothing to account for high levels of activity. I don't even feel that internal skull pressure that I normally get around a tier one. All in all, it's pretty quiet. Just quiet enough, I'll bet. Any case, bring back whatever you found. Best case scenario is that we can do a hex or two and try to, try to draw something out. Worst case, I'll smash it all under a cinder block and we'll threaten whatever comes flying out with a gun. What about this computer? Should I just leave it? I don't know. That's not my job. I'll put Terrence on. Hey Jeff, well, uh, the first things first. You think that computer is haunted? Uh, mildly, if at all. There's some backwards writing. Oh, and now it just says, my enter password if you dare. Seems to be a little overdramatic. There's nothing in the file about a computer password. 
We've got garage access codes, key cards, infrared alarm, disabling pin numbers, but no computer passwords. Oh, all right then. I'll bring these things back to you, and then maybe we can get home before daybreak. I don't want to be coming back tomorrow night. I didn't want to say anything before, but that definitely isn't going to happen. It's steady home. It isn't changing, but it's getting more powerful. Louder, if you are a ghost. So you're telling me that I'm walking around a genuine, real deal, escalating event? Kevin's just been joking around, but he's worried. He's been deep in data and calling the archivists back home. I think he might even call in another team. Oh, come on. He knows I'm qualified. Of course it's going to be someone like Laura or Jesse. Kevin just loves to get them to show me up. I'm not sure this is comparative. He wants reinforcements, but he doesn't want to call in an emergency. You know how that looks on your record. Yeah, I guess I do. I'm not coming back right now. So, we get to walk back! Walking simulation action! Door opening action! Light emanating action! Waiting for a jump scare. You're still the gray box. Dump 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 do. Dump 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 dip 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 My my legs have three joints. That's weird. Ah, here we go. We're back in the spooky grounds. That should uh something should pop out right around now. Anytime. Do your popping. Pop secret. Ghosts. Monsters. Demons. Vampires. Chief. Cloud. Okay. Maybe the fence will explode. No. Alright. Oh, hello, lady. I knew I would. I knew I would have to come and save you again, Laura. You're in over your head, Jeff, just like always. Kevin, I knew you were calling in backup, but her really you could just let me take care of it. Calm down, Jeff. It isn't like that. It's much worse. But no, you couldn't have that. You just had me to look, make me look like a fool. Well, who'd you call? Killed that minotaur. Who beat that rotworm to death with a muffler? Me. I did. I'm the one who gets his hands dirty every. Wait, what? You're right, Jeff, but I didn't call her to make you look like a fool. Things are... serious. Well, someone explain it to me. I'll give it to you straight, Jeff. All signs point to it being a di- The moment you called me in was the moment you ceded control of this mission to me. We don't use that word in my missions, Kevin. We call it a Tier Zero event. I'll be honest with you, Jeff. You've never seen anything like this before. Neither have I, but I've trained with the best paranormal investigators in the world, and they've given me a lot to work with. What I need from you right now, before I tell you anything else, is for you to tell me if you want out. You can get in the van and go home, or we can pull in someone else for the new wet work. Tonight's going to get worse before it gets better. I don't want to call it an emergency, but I might have to. So are you in or out? I'm in. Of course I'm in. Alright, then here it is. Every paranormal object, creature, phenomenon, and being in the city is converging on this block. We've never seen anything like this before. Worse, according to the archivists, it has only been seen once before in history. Ghostbusters? We've deployed every team I could find on short notice to critical wave zones across the city. We're setting up checkpoints to disrupt the flow of hauntings with the release of sandbags against the deluge. The awakening? Everything imaginable, and I mean everything, is coming. Our job is to find out why and to eliminate the reason. Kevin believes there might be some kind of horrible thing pulling everything together. Exactly. The number of creatures here is already staggering. The fact they didn't manifest and tear you to shreds in that warehouse speaks to the fact they're being controlled by a de tier zero event. There's only two ways it could happen. The first is mere contingency, but Terrence checked every chart we have. No alignments, no dice. The second is a summoning. The old kind. Black candles, blood of innocence, robes, the whole works. We don't see it often because wannabes usually can't get it together. This time it looks like they did. I don't understand. What do you want me to do? There's something connecting you to this event. If anyone else had gone into that warehouse, they could have come out in pieces if they'd made it out at all. Terrence compared some of the old architectural drawings with actual blueprints of the warehouse. The office you were, probably, you were in probably has an undocumented tunnel. We need you to go back in that warehouse and find that tunnel. If we go in, we're dead. You? You might make it. While you do that, we're going to keep get on the horn with everyone we can think of to try and get this under control. We'll keep in radio contact with you as much as possible, but who knows what could happen in there. No one wants an emergency. No, we don't. We don't want that. Is there anything I need to do before I leave? Go talk to Terrence. He has, he has some things that might help you. After that, go do it. 
Okay! Briefing! Walking time! Hey! So you heard the news. Rough stuff, huh? Y yeah, yeah it is. You can always say no, Jeff. You can always walk away. We haven't had a mer an emergency in 13 years. One reason for that is luck. Pure luck. The other reason is that we refuse to let it happen. No one recovers from an emergency. There's no getting over it. It never stops weighing on you. Believe me. So I can't walk away. I'll do everything that I can to prevent that from happening. I've already seen it once. That's too many times for one person. Twice is... Unthinkable. Dun dun dun! Oh, dot dot dot. Dot dot dot! What do you have for me, Terrence? Anything? Or am I just going in there to wait for something to snatch off my head? Well, between Kevin, Laura, and the archivists, I've been able to pull some text that might be helpful for you. Do you pick up anything in the warehouse that might give us more clues about this whole thing? This ring and this bone, but if Laura is right, every paranormal artifact and creature in a hundred miles is on the way. These objects are just as alive as any banshee or zombie, and they're all coming. The symbols on this bone, the etchings on this ring. I don't have any weapons or gadgets for you. There's literally nothing you could do if these artifacts are what I think I they, what I think they are. But there's some stuff on the danger cart. Knowledge might be the only thing that can save you tonight. Make sure you read the book on top of the stack. Thanks, Terrence. I'll see you on the other side. You mean later? That's what I said. Okay. I guess they think I should have a look at these books. Oh, language textbooks. Why? Wait, here we go. Something written by the Mesmer Recorder. I like them. The preface of the book says that they were all wiped out in a last-ditch effort to stamp out an ancient order of doomsday ascetics. That's scary. One might say it is. Uh... Hmm, so this situation looks a lot like the one we're dealing with tonight. Two hundred years ago, a simple event happened in Dusseldorf, but they nipped it in the bud. A description of what the bodies looked like afterwards, they don't leave anything to the imagination. Definitely don't want to end up like those guys. Guess I better go to it. Alright, cool. So... Hot walk in action! Can't talk to you. Can't talk to you. Walking, walking through the game, walking through the screens, and the darkness, the dark darkness of dark. It's very dark. Pop. Anything happening? You will be visited. A triumvirate of flesh and feather and fur. So, there's a furry convention in town. Judged by maw and claw and beak. The prophecy of the rolling horde cannot be turned. It was written on the hearts of a thousand of hell's finest warriors. It was scribed from the guttural moans of every dying denizen of Hyperborea. Uh-huh. There is no escape from this. Just because you're pale and you have a black hat, Technic's Eshton Time itself prevents me from touching you now. Know this, it is coming. It has been foretold. <laughs> well, your commentary is always welcome. Too bad no one else will ever hear it. You're right, they don't. <laughs> Actually, I've been thinking of doing scary d games all October. And now my roomie is making weird purring noises. She's, uh, she's scarily good at it. No. Stop freaking out the cat. That's not kosher. Walking, walking, walking. We're walking, we're walking. Hello, computer. No, the computer screen is just scrolling through random numbers and letters. Wait. I've never seen most of these symbols. Hello, oh, well, Jeff. What the hell are you- This is not hell, Jeff, but it can be in time. What information do you wish to know? I can tell you how you will die. I can tell you what color the sky will turn right before the end. 
You will see all sort all of these things soon enough. I need not tell you of them. It is written in the sky, beyond the sky, on the waves of the ocean of time. And there's a wagon wheel in the sky that turns its eternal blah blah blah. You know you're not the only possessed computer I've ever met, right? Shut up, phone! You all play this predictive analysis game like I'm supposed to be impressed that a demon inside a computer can tell me things. I have lived in fire and ice since the moment your puny planet formed from dust. Yeah, I know all about it. Listen, I know there's a path in here somewhere and you're probably the only thing between it, me and it. Can't you just do me a favor and, you know, let me through here? I have crushed saints and swordsmen beneath my hoof. I have dragged, I personally dragged Perlane the anchor to hell with a rope loop through his jaw. You wish to best me, Jeff. You may have power, but on this night you are less than nothing. I have been told that I cannot touch you, and I will respect the wishes of my master, but I do not have to help you. I will watch you die here. No one has ever suggested that a demon wasn't dramatic enough. Alright, what is the what is the best? Ah, I've got it. Perlane the Anchor, huh? That means they call you Loran. Perlane's great-granddaughter cost you into a beehive in 1621, then she burned you. I will admit that I have always had a weakness for swarming. But that also means that your real name is Fal Un Ren, an Egyptologist loved you, and you showed up to devour Lord Brian Taylor in 1881. Ah, a fan. I will admit that I did find London lovely. Of course you did. It was a prosperous time for your people. We did well. I also know that it isn't your real name, Krun Call. How do you? Goodbye, Krun. I Rivet E Striker. No. What a jerk. Well, I have um apparently talked wait is, is was that hold music on the answering machine oh it, i don't know i have heard hold music on the answering machine before because some of those stupid cold calls you know so okay we have um talked the computer to death we are now captain kirk i am kirk i am kirk. well no i have to be evil kirk there have been, well, there have, there's only been one lady, but, no. Yes. So, no, I... But, only under duress. But, yeah, well, I've, it seems unlikely that I'll be making out with her. So, yes, I still get to be Captain Kirk, even though I have black hair and a goatee. I must be evil, evil Spurk. There we go. Well, you're the one who does Slash, so, uh, you deal with it. No, it's not. Not really. Terrence, can you hear me? <laughs> Jeff, bar Jeff, barely you off the map tracking you. Satellite? Is it interference? Mongolia. The lights are off and I didn't do it. I can't feel the magic. I feel empty. Try, get underground, further away. Nexus. Terrence. Okay. Alright, no light, we are two dots. Two dots, walking in the dark, with footsteps. Perfect time for a scare gag. And no, Kirk slash Spock is not canon. Hey, two more dots. Hello, dots. Will you be my friend? Kevin! How did you get down here? Please tell me you have Linda. Are you afraid of the moon, Jeff? Are you afraid of what it brings? What the hell are you talking about, Kevin? Where is everyone else? I've watched the tide go out under that stinking moon. The dead city gleamed in the moonlight. I've said this all before. I've touched all this before. Kevin, how did you get here? We will build a pyre that will light the sky. The popping fat of a million of your fallen species will call the true dark from beyond this world. When it shatters, you will know the crack formed here. If only I could touch you. If only you were not under that veil. Veil? If only I could tear you apart. Get away from me, dude. Oh, he's bleeding from his eyes, and his skull, and he is turned into a eyeball monster, and has faded into nothing. Alright, whatevs. Sucks to be that guy. 
Da, 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 walking through the thing, walking through the thing, walking through the thing. Hey, we got texture in the back. It could be ground or mud. There's tentacles from the ceiling. We're probably gonna get frisky. I need an adult. Oh, I was just waiting for you to start shouting, I am an adult. But no, you missed the opportunity. You've ruined everything. Good job there. Oh, I am now falling through an infinite time and space and... ...ripples and stuff. I have no control. This is like a cutscene or something. Oh, I fell down. Can I get up? How did I get... I'll just lie here a little while. Maybe I'll just die. I'll just stay here and rot, let my, get my soul sucked up in some kind of spirit prison. That sounds... that's what I'll do. The developer of this game would like you to please sigh out loud. Use your full young capacity. Thank you for embracing the interactivity of this medium, therefore making this art better in some small way. Well, I can't let the developer down, so... <sighs> okay, there. Sigh. I can't just die here. They're depending on me. I have to get up. They'll put me on the wall of shame if I don't get up. I'll probably be trapped in a crystal prison for all eternity, and then on top of that, new recruits will point at me at my awful security ID photo and laugh. They're still counting on me. Laura and Kevin need me to find out what's causing all of this. So what if I fell through an abyss where the misshapen horrors of that flip between the real and unimaginable rest their heads? Two years ago, I saw a Sumerian statue crack in half and release a gas that summoned a crocodile god that swallowed me whole. I made it through that. I can make it through anything. There probably won't be any more wall tentacles. That passage had 500% more wall tentacles than most any other location I've been to. Where are the chances of seeing more? Slim, I bet. The chances are not slim at all. Oh, you again. Great. Alright, up and at em. This semi-mystery won't walk itself. <laughs> I can't walk backwards through the void, so I guess I'll go forwards. Going from left to right, just like in all side-scrolling games. Going from left to right, cause left is known and the right is adventure. Jeff! Terrence! I thought I was out of range, where am I? You were out of range, we had you pinging all over the world at one point. From what I can tell, you were delocalized. No way, it didn't feel that way at all, it was all so real. Believe what you want, but I'm pretty sure that your spirit was all over the world. Your bodies probably just floated down the sewer and out that pipe, or whatever. That's comforting. Sorry. Can you at least tell me where I am now? That is, unless it's some kind of post-death hallucination in which I am living out my fantasy of mission success while in the afterlife, or perhaps purgatory? Well, let me check. The purgatorium level is resting at 3.22, which is cubicle level. You're probably in the real world. Good. So where am I? I'm about half a kilometer away from the warehouse. You're deeper inside the block than you were before. The interference is down from what it is before, but the dead winds are picking back up. There's a store in front of you. One of the emanating sources is coming from there, and Laura thinks it might be something underground there. It could be a delivery gone wrong. We've gone, we've been checking shipping manifests, and the owner received several mysterious packages from all over the world recently. Or the owner could collect exoteric cutlery. Who knows? It's worth checking out in any case. Listen, interference is picking up. Oh, not this again. We sent part team. Watch for the she always. Flesh work lock tentacles. Terrence, Terrence, are you there? Well, that sounded awful. Walking through the tall grass towards the right, which should be a store. Walking through the tall grass. Hope I don't get delocalized again. Screen change. Okay, walk in. And under the world, do I fall off? No, it's just some more darkness. So then, Jeff, Laura, Jeff, gotta be quick. We've had the nets up the long key routes to your location. We caught an entire goblin colony on the way to you. There's some chatter among them, and we interrogated a few of them to get some info. Apparently, a call just went out a few hours ago. There's either a a tear or some kind of ship. 
weird thing is they don't even know where they're headed there. They said, they said it just feels right. Laura, I've never seen anything like this. Neither have I. No one living has, as far as I can tell, no one has ever written about an event on this scale. I'm doing what I can on this end, but it's all up to you. We can't even get close now. Some intern walked ten paces across the street towards your location, and a winged whore tore his arm right off. He's still there. We can't reach him. We're holding them off as much as we can, but you've got to hurry. I don't even know what I'm walking for. Neither do I. We're working on an insertion team for support. This is really last ditch, but we're trying. It could be it, though. We might have to call in an emergency. It might be too late. A, a, a little longer. Just, just a little longer. There's some kind of building in front of me. I'm going to explore it and see if I can make any headway. It looks like the back door is open. I'll call back when I have some info. Going past the fence. Into the doors. The floor! My! And she woke up like she did every day and looked outside like she did every day. The things that were outside were outside like they were every day. So she shut her the curtains and went back to sleep. But then the next day things were the same so they, they were the previous day. So she finally decided that she wasn't going to take it anymore. It was too much for one person to stand. And against all the odds that the way the story goes, she opened up her door and let out a roar. that blew down the houses and crumpled up the roads like sheets of paper. And in the emptiness that followed, she realized that not this day was different, but this time was no different. And that time marched on and whipped around itself so much she could never tell if this time was on purpose or it was just a mistake someone else had made before a long time ago. And there I am, falling down the background. Because apparently that's what I do. I fall, fall down behind weird stories. And I'm back up again. In White Land. I'll only use some splats of color and then we'll be in a Mondrian painting. Well, there's, some, there's a big black splotch there. Let's get some blue and some yellow and some red up in this bitch. Um, yeah, modern art jokes, woo! Oh well, that's a bookcase, it'll do. All these books are worn with use and age. Someone has really done their research. I see a surprising amount of history here. Normally you see lots of duds, fake books made for phony 19th century lords. Whoever put this collection together has a very discerning eye. We're a pretty good research team. I cannot use you, bed. I cannot use you, end table. Books! And this shelf is covered in books. I've read some of these. Turnbull, The Red's Lexicon, Queen Anne's Treatise on the Underworld. Some of this stuff, though. Catch, in, catch Near Sea's History of Magic and Technology, It Can's Travelogue. It's amazing how many of these things come out every year. I bet these books have something to do with all this mystery. Mystery! Oh, hello! Uh, let's see, what, what is Dr. Glasses Man? What's his voice going to be? What a surprise seeing you here! You're so much younger than they describe you. I didn't even think it was possible for you to come this far forward. You look so serene. It hasn't happened yet. So few make it to even your age. So this is it. You're the cause. That giant globe... That must be the heart of the Nexus, and you must be the shop owner who collects esoteric materials, and all the while you are some kind of evil scientist. I am afraid not. I'm afraid that you're far away from where you were supposed to be. Something has slipped. I won't deny that you are here, and that I am here, but one thing does not always follow another. What? What do you... Do you know how long I've lived here in this bunker? I've lived so many lives. The spells grow weaker each time, and I and my forebears have reached this land. I knew that you would that I would see you one day. I've waited. I've dwelled on whether I should say it. Say it? My 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 batch father passed it unto me, and his batch father unto him, and further and further, all the way to the first utterance. The word which shatters a stone will not wait. My decision will be made for me. I will speak it and be pulled away from here. I will be torn apart. All of this life... wasted. I... don't understand. Stop talking. Awal Rom Hanra. Alright. The sky will crystallize like glass. The elements will perforate. Only shadows will remain. And from that... From that will come new life. Stop. You're under arrest. What are you doing? 
Do you have any idea what's going on up there? Up above? People are dying. People are going to die. You have to... You've got to explain yourself. I've got to save them. You're very brave. Terrence. Lauren. Kevin. Is anyone picking this up? I've got an esoteric scientist down here in some kind of bunker. He has a globe. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. And these... MS painted himself to death. Okay. Cool. Can I walk now? Hello? Anyone? Oh, I'm getting some awful buzzing noise. Tonight is just awful. Alright, well, I'll just walk towards this globe here. Hello, globe. This giant orb shows some kind of lifeline, maybe. Well, there's so many layers. There's a core, but it's obscured. It's beautifully crafted, and through all the strata, one line bleeds through. It doesn't look dangerous. It just looks like a map. Alright. Well, between the option of going left and going right, I shall choose to go right. I wish to go forward, into glory. And here's a ladder. I can go up this ladder. Oh, it'll go up for me. And then a door made of blood, maybe? I don't know. And a circle that cracks it open, and... Can I go through now? Yeah, I guess so. And there's birds chirping, and it's green, and it's sunny, and it's... Ha! Crows are liars. Hello, tree. You are my friend. I will shake your hand, but you have no hand. Hello, grass. Hello, thing, way back there in the distance. Doop, 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 Hello, tent? Hello, tapestry? There's a dragon breathing fire all over itself on this tapestry. It doesn't seem to mind. There are people down at the bottom of the tapestry, but they don't look harmed. They're falling down. They're beneath the dragon. They don't seem to understand. There's some script here, but I can't read it. If only I'd taken at least one course in a dead yet not forgotten language. It looks like Chinese. Oh, bits of it look like Chinese. And the people are becoming the words? This tapestry shows a giant orb? It looks like a lot like the one I saw in that lab. Could it be the moon? I wish I could read this text. It looks so beautiful. Oh, hello, dude in a fiery robe. Well, it's a robe with fire trim, and the, the trim is actually, like, moving. It's cool. Uh, let's see, what's his voice going to be? Um, I have waited so long already. Here you are, traveler, far too early and late. I saw you in the dream, written in ash, brittle bones shake in anticipation of your arrival. You're green. I, uh, where am I? Can you at least tell me that? I'm so tired. This land has no name. This world is Unnamo, the stone. I traveled from far from my own home to reach this place in this time. We read your arrival in the soil and stars, and Ur priest with glass read three tales in dark behind the largest star. It showed you here, and here you are. Behind, a uh, soil. What? What the hell are you even talking about? First some bald scientist who speaks in riddles and how a funhouse priest who can't thread two sensible words together. Just great. Yeah. yeah. It is a momentous occasion. You have the word inside of you. I can see it. I can see the word. So soon it has curled itself around your soul. You will never rid yourself of it. Rumi says I have tape rooms. <laughs> it lives. The last word. Oh my god. Oh my god. My my who? The worm beneath the ledge no longer needs you, traveler. 
know that there is nothing you could have done differently. And now, I evaporate from inside out. And everything is as it should be. Chloe! I am not doing that voice again. That is bad on my throat. Chloe, did it work? Uh, it, it did. I feel awful, but I'm here. Jeff isn't anything around. Yeah, here we go. Jeff isn't anywhere around, though. I'm afraid that a lost signal might mean the worst. He was pegging all over again, and then he was just gone. Don't take it hard, Terrence. You got the machine working. I'm in now. There's still time to save everything. I hope, I hope you're right. I need to call my mom. Yeah. I'm just getting Terrence's voice wrong. I think you do. Okay, look, there's a huge energy reading somewhere ahead of you. It might be a portal or a shrine of some kind. Oh, just for your information, get you coming back out. Uh, my character totally just evaporated from the inside out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It was, must have been tapeworms. Because he did say the great worm no longer needed me. So, tapeworms. Yep. Yes, you win. You win everything. All the bucks. All of them. How many bucks do you win? You win 10. Yes. Hmm? Oh, odds for good butts? 18. There are bad butts. <laughs> well, we can't have any sad ponies. So maybe you can sell the butts for coins. <laughs> well... Well, no, no, you get four decent butts. Uh, <laughs> this bit of D20 rolling has been brought to you by CDMHQ. Okay, look, there's a huge energy reading somewhere ahead of you. It might be a portal or a shrine of some kind. Kick it, blow it up, something, anything. I just saw Wayne disintegrate. Jesus! Wanda! No! Tie that thing down! Terrence? And now I'm either a lady or someone with really long hair. Everyone's very blocky in this game, so... I'm not gray, though. I am Gandalf the Blonde. <laughs> oh, here we go. Words. Spliced into this story, she walked forward, understanding that what she had already... what had already happened would happen again, but not to let her... Not to her, and the journey forward had already become about escape rather than completion. And so she walked. Alright. A hundred miles, and I will walk five hundred more. To be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door. <laughs> and here's a monolith with that crazy writing on it. <laughs> And here are some doors with crazy writing on them. Probably... Ah, I can just pick doors. That door has a llama in it. Hello, llama. I am going to talk to you, llama. Now, after it has ended, a new one appears. Ended? Or ended? Everything is in pieces now, but you still sent... Oh yeah, her name's Chloe, so definitely a... Unless... Unless her parents hated her. Everything is in pieces now, but you still stand. I will give you my... Um, I forgot what voice I was going for with Lama, but now it's going to be an old New Englander. I will give you my blessing in exchange for a choice. Can't get there from here. Beyond... Beyond me, there are three artifacts. They are the products of their own cycles. Touch them and they will speak. When you have chosen the one which hounds your heart, touch it again and return to me. Press the up arrow while overlapping each artifact to listen to its story. When you have chosen your favorite, interact with a second time and return to the alpaca. It's the la it's a llama, damn it. Choose carefully, you only get one chance. Alright, so we got ourselves a goofy masky deal. I am a mask! I resemble a monster! I could be the source of all nightmares! I was once like you, after a fashion. I live my life waiting for death. I'll earn for it without yearning, a passion on the edge of emptiness. Oh, all cut in the day's harvest, I looked out toward the darkness at the edge of the field and saw a great white flash and began to slowly, methodically rip apart the world. I knew that was the end of it all, and I settled, and because of that, I'm always here, right now, as a self-satisfied totem. This choice means satisfaction. 
I am a key. I have unlocked everything. I have never been like you, but I've watched you from afar. I witnessed and spoke with a quiet clicking sound that you chose not to hear. I told everyone that mountains of sludge would one day overrun us, but no one listened. I doubt they could have listened if they wanted. A calming wind began to ride us all down to bone. I could do nothing, so they did nothing, and I exist this way, always unlocked, unlocking. Less choice means an open wound. I am a pedant. I have. I am a pendant. I have waited. I have found the heart of the world and bundled it up so tightly that when the crashing noises ruptured sound itself, I knew it could be saved. And when they came for me, I hid myself deeper. I found cracks between the walls of things, and when they sealed them up, I fled the other way. I bent myself until I broke, and I still kept this world. What would I be without it? This choice means hope. Um. Well, I'm gonna go with hope, because hope is good. So, satisfaction, um... Well, I forgot what the key was supposed to be for, or hope. Oh, the key was an open wound. So, satisfaction, an open wound, or hope? What do you say? I have to pick something that's... like... Alright, that's hope. You have chosen the locket! Talk to me, alpaca. You have made your choice. I have. This one is special. They're all special. Each is a diamond crafted from light in the ever-reaching cyclical screech of an ending. This world folds yet again, but still some things will remain. I will do what I can for you. We are no longer enemies. There is nothing left but to be done but wait. Nothing inside of you has changed. Leave this place. You have my blessing. Thank you, alpaca. Go with God. I have opened that door. It has become a dot. That is a birdie up there. It looked kind of like a chicken. Very weird for a chicken to be flying, but... It is a chicken, and it is flying. That's very strange of it. Or maybe it's not a chicken. Maybe it's a parrot. I've read about you. Laura briefed me. We were sure you'd be here. You're the turn! <laughs> turn. I, I kind of burped. It is a time of turning, surely, but I am what I am. Your ghost and your ghouls are foreground for a drama unlike any other. We found stories about you in books from the Middle Ages. A comet fell in the middle of Northern Europe. A small bird, mustachioed and lithe, picked up the stone and flung it into the ocean. And the cave paintings! We had to hide so many cave paintings! You're a legend! I am merely a messenger! A harbinger! You know me as a word! You, I know you as a gap in time! And the other, he was merely a windblown speck. It is larger than all of this. You may have a moment of peace. Make no mistake, it has already happened. We are merely waiting for the signs, like a blister after a burn. Return! Okay. Sure thing, birdie dude. And we will ignore that burning robot. We'll... Swap on the lights and walk through the darkness and the blue crepe wallpaper. And what are you? You are a uh, whatever. You are a what? Okay, I guess that doesn't do anything. And now we go through the door. Hello, Bernie dude. Um... Alright. Well, whatever I... This is for saving. Because maybe I broke something. Oh! Hello there. Hidden in the dark. Like all things. You have found me. A oh, mantis shrimp? We each live for a thousand years. I am the 80th of my line, the last of the radiant monks, sent here to watch the folding of this loop. You have done well, Chloe. Knowing your hand in these final moments brings me joy. I have known all of your species, but you, in this fortuitous moment, are special. 
Why me? I walked into the portal. Everything, everything is being pulled apart. Why is this happening? You are another in a long line. It is not your fault. It will happen over and over again, and this barren soil will transform into fertility again. The storm comes, and with it comes life. This is the end, but every end is a beautiful beginning. If only you could see the world as one of my order. If only it were in your capacity to see the things, to sense the way I do. I have crushed the lock between you and understanding. In an I, another cycle, in another time, you are powerful. A second life, a third, a thousand. You will have these things and more. But I fade. I am not so resilient. Wait, but... Mantis Shrimp! No! Mantis Shrimp! Damn you! You had to live! Anyway, one moment. And now... Oh, okay, the fiery dude is gone. We will continue on then. Alright. We have teleported in. Chloe's log, start eight. Nine oh seven. Nine twenty six twenty thirteen. Chloe! Oh my god, Linda, we got Chloe. Can you hear me? Chloe, can you hear me? Terrence, I have no idea where I am. There were there were animals and they told me that everything was over. They told me this world was going to collapse. There was a portal. Terrence! Terrence, did you call your mother? Wait, are you? You didn't do anything? You were gone. You go and you come back and things are fixed. That's how these things work. Every night, like just like Jeff said. I don't know where Jeff is, but I bet he would apologize to you right now if he could. There wasn't anything, Terrence. There wasn't a leader or a monster or a subterranean species. There were just... I don't know. Riddles, maybe. There's just knowledge. Chloe? Chloe, this is Laura. Terrence, he isn't doing so well. You don't have to tell me what happened. I know that you did your best. I would have tried if there was anything to try. It was all empty, Linda. It was just empty. I think... I think you're going to have to call on an emergency. It was wonderful to have you as a commander, Laura. Chloe, you... you don't understand. I called an emergency less than ten minutes after you inserted. We received reports from every single operation. A clan of banshees in one location followed by scuttling horrors in another. One after another. All night long. Everything, everyone I called in tonight is dead. No one is answering the radio at the archive now. I made an international call five minutes ago and someone answered, but... It wasn't a person any longer. This is so much bigger than we thought it was. So much worse. No one was prepared. We're holed up in the van now. That's all we can do. I'm trying to get a beat on you now. None of us have any idea what we should do now, but at least we can come get you. These readings are correct. We're parked a hundred yards in front of you. You've made a long way. We're miles from the site now. It's like it was meant to be here. I'm willing to believe anything, I guess. We're parked at the Overlook. Things are... tense. Find us. Okay. Pretty useless Chloe, walking through the forest. Walking past an overpass. There's the whole team. Chloe, I'm so glad you made it here. I'm so confused. Nothing I did. Well, here we are. You did the best you could. I'm sure of it. How could you have known? Everything. I was watching the moon right before you got here. Something passed behind it. I could see it, barely, along the glowing edge. Chloe, it was enormous, but I'm not afraid. It was like looking at a photograph. It was like home movies. It was like going home again. Things will be okay. Terrence is right. Things will be alright themselves again. Everything will come around again. You were the best team member I ever had. Thanks, Laura. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. No. I have so many things left to say. I have so many people I want to talk to and tell how I feel. This can't be it. This can't be happening. I think it is. Or, I think it is. I can't believe it. Everything will be fine. Hold my hand. And they hold hands and we're going to watch the world end. And... All the stars disappear. Okay. Okay. I did pick hope, so...
I guess that makes sense. And the tentacles! From beyond space. Of course it's gotta be tentacles from beyond space. Uh, is that it? End! Yeah, I guess that's it! Well... Okay, everybody! That was... Catachoresis! Um... Very well, then! See ya!